Well, it's time to work on the pontoon to get it ready to put the jet engine on it. So, what we'll have to do is uh, take the railing off, take whatever interior pieces are left off, pull the carpet up, um, and then pull the plywood up in the back so we can uh, see what structure is there and then figure out how much uh, aluminum tubing and things we need to add to support the weight of that jet engine. So, um, this is what we got to work with, so we'll just get started. All right, it's a hot one out today, but we got to build the frame to mount the jet on. So we'll walk outside. So that needs to be mounted on a smaller frame, one that's going to be compatible with the structure we're building for the pontoon. So I bought some two and a half inch thick wall steel. And now it's just a matter of uh, cutting it all up to the right size to our sketch I got. And then transferring the jet over onto that new uh, structure. So. Fun stuff, cutting welding metal when it's 100 degrees out and humid, but we'll get it done. Alright, it's time to do some fabrication, so I'll show you what we got going on. So, we've got the jet hanging from the chain falls. Uh, we've got our plumb lines coming down and our frame underneath is all squared up and leveled So it's about as square as we're gonna get this thing You can see the combustion chamber sit sitting pretty level there. We've got our plumb lines Running down measured off both sides. Then we've got the same thing Up front hanging from our center link and then two more plumb lines um, And we're measuring off the front and the side of the frame to make sure we're square so that should be everything we need and uh, just start measuring cutting cross members. Um, we're going to have a hoop come up top with uh, an adjustable link so we can adjust the angle of this thing. So I did measure, do a little math to make sure there's enough room underneath. So if we're five degrees tilted up or five degrees tilted down, uh, we won't bottom out the gearbox on the floor. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for now. I'll give another update here once I get everything welded in, and then it should be ready to sit on the pontoon. Well, I started this thing, I think when the sun was uh, just coming up. So I think we're about 14 hours into the fab process, but it is officially sitting on its own feet on the ground on the pontoon mount. So don't need the gantry anymore. Um, so now I gotta get the pontoon structure ready and then set this puppy on there and we'll be ready to start some testing. So, all in all good progress, but it's a hot one out here, so sunburned or weld burned or something but i don't know i'm exhausted so i'll do more tomorrow we'll keep going okay i'm over here at genesis pontoon trailers in holland michigan um just picked up the pontoon um custom built pontoon they turned it around in like less than a week for me uh they want to see this jet project come alive so great group of guys family-owned company you can see there's uh there's mountains of pontoon parts everywhere so and uh, it's time to get home and get the pontoon set up on it, and then we can continue progress on work. So um, shout out to these guys. If, uh, if you need a pontoon trailer, these things are pretty badass. Uh, all hot dip, galvanized, um, all made here in Michigan. Uh, good group of guys. So check it out if you're in the market. Stop by. All right. It's a nice galvanized trailer. This thing shouldn't rust at all. Big enough to fit our pontoon. It's got electric trailer brakes. Got this little climbing ladder up front. Full of things hot dip galvanized. Tandem axle. So now we got a safe way to move uh, the pontoon in and out of the water. So it was one more thing we needed. Real happy with that. All right, it's a hot one today, but the next thing we need to do um, is build some fuel tanks. So we're gonna do two side saddle tanks that we can mount midship on the pontoon 
we'll figure out where exactly to place those for weight uh, balancing and that kind of thing. Um, but we're going to do two 100 gallon tanks. We got some baffles uh, designed up, so I'm going to cut them out of these sheets. Um, got a pile of sheet steel here. Got them laid up on the plasma table. Laptop ready to go. And then we've got our build sheet. So that's the tank. Uh, 60 inches by 20 by 20, two baffles. Got our kind of build material laid out. Um, neighbor's gonna help me weld these up. So I threw together some quick build sheets um, just to call it the parts. There's some like little notches and little things, uh, some relief cuts, stuff like that. But pretty simple, it's just a box with some baffles and um, you know, a three quarter inch fitting here to get fuel out of the tanks and then uh, a two inch fill cap on each one and we'll plumb these things in parallel and hook the fuel pump up to it so that's what we're working on today all right so my neighbor, Eric, who's been helping me on this project, used his garage and all his fabrication equipment, has got this whole tank welded up in a short day. We got our baffles, and like you saw in the design, all the individual panels. Got one last panel to throw in there. Add a couple fittings, and we're ready for fuel. So now that I've got the fuel tanks welded up and the jet frame ready to go, um, we need to reinforce some structure on the pontoon um, so we're going to weld in some uh, lateral supports, going to box that frame in, and then add some additional supports and mounting structure uh, that we can mount the jet on top of the pontoon and bolt it down to. Um, so that's what we'll work on next. <clears throat> All right, so... We've got the jet on a trailer and I've got the pontoon in tow behind me. And we're gonna get in the backyard where the neighbor's got an excavator where we can pick this whole thing up and get it up high enough into the air to put onto the pontoon. So it's an exciting milestone. It'll be the first uh, jet engine on a pontoon as far as I'm aware. Uh, off we go. <laughs> oh. progress ends for now but it was another milestone we achieved have the jet mounted on the pontoon so for the first time ever we've got uh this um it's uh quite the sight to see um we got a lot more work ahead of us do a lot of finished work get the pontoon deck get that thing bolted down hook all the systems back up the fuel systems oil systems um hydraulic system get the motor and alternator mounted to charge everything, put some, uh, thinking it might go with electric trolling motors on the back, just so we can navigate it around when you're not running that. Probably looks like not a whole lot happened over the last few weeks, but tons of uh, just fabrication and um, just sweating and welding and grinding metal, so uh, for what that's worth. But anyway, stay tuned, um, and we'll get more, uh, more stuff going here. Um, also, if you enjoyed the video, I never asked this, but please subscribe and like the video, comment if you'd like. Um, you can see my channel is very small and uh, it's not monetized. And I'm just trying to share this jet project with everyone because I think it's pretty cool. Um, so if you do like it, please do that. That might be able to help help out when uh, we got to start burning $60 a minute in fuel in this thing. So anyway, I would appreciate it and I'll see you guys around.